For many, their lives have returned to normal since Hurricane Ida. And for others, their homes look like it's the day after the storm. So when people found out a military veteran and her rescued pets were still living in the storm's destruction, they ran to her rescue. Meg Ferris with a heartwarming story from West Wego. See where that piece of tin is sticking up? Oh, okay. It fell okay. across. Marjorie Randall stayed in her West Wego trailer during Hurricane Ida. A tree fell, moving it off the foundation. Water poured in, she was trapped inside. I started kind of panic a little bit, but I still had to keep my composure because I had all these animals in the house with me. Mostly cats, but a dog too, and chickens and doves, 55 total. All are rescues after seeing animals abused as a child. I made a pledge in my heart that as long as I had anything to do with it, that I would never see another cat hurt ever. And for more than five months since the storm, Marjorie has not left their side. With no insurance or help from the landlord, this 62-year-old has been living in her van on the property, something she says her truck driving career prepared her for. I'm really nonplussed about it simply because I lived in a truck for 22 years. If I can hotwire a big rig, I can, hot, I can handle my... I can handle myself out here, you know, I, and I had to do that if I was going to keep warm that night. <laughs> her bathroom is a bucket, something she says her service in the U.S. Army prepared her for. Where else you going to go? You out on bivouac. You take your shovel with you and you handle your business. But no matter how self-sufficient this petite veteran is, when word spread on social media among complete strangers in the animal-loving community, things started to happen. Groups like the Catnip Foundation in Folsom donated food and supplies and a full round of veterinary care. Ida might be a blow to the state of Louisiana, especially to the south, but what we do in the state of Louisiana is we help each other when we're down. And word continued to spread, even to those with their own needs. 2020 was horrible. Lost my business in March, lost my husband in April, lost my son in June. Lost my dog in December, four days before Christmas. And I was just devastated. But Cheryl Como has a soft spot for veterans and cat lovers, so is donating a complete household of furniture now in storage from her clothes thrift and appliance store. I don't know what else to do other than to help people. That's, that's my therapy. I'm like, OK, Lord, what's next? He's not going to put me in a situation that he has not made an out for me. And the furniture will come in handy. Marjorie found a place on the internet for sale in Opelousas for a home and office to sell insurance. She's living her motto, keep moving forward and don't drag your feet. From West Wico, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. The Catnip Foundation is going to help Marjorie move all of her animals to her new home. Marjorie, you inspire all of us. If you'd like to donate, we have a link on WWLTV.com.